Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like you're stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Grab the first one, come on! I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. That's the spot, lower it from there. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Come left. Let's go! Nice and easy! Got it! Alright, come down here and help me plant this stuff! Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mining charges. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will.
Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. Need to get this finished soon, Arthur. I think I hear something coming, Arthur! Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Now I'm on my way! Faster, buddy, come on! Shit! Arthur! The train! Come on, quick! Stupid thing! Hard as you can! Faster! Let's go! Let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! It's right on! Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand the Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here, risking our necks, and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I, I don't know. Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed.
Oh, hey, you there! Think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, 
It's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Oh, we're getting close now. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Hmm. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Nice talking with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. North or south? State your side, sir. I ain't no southerner, if that's what you're worried about. I am worried. Very worried indeed. Captain Hayden Russell, 29th Amberino Volunteer Infantry. We've met before, you know. I never laid eyes on you in my life. Been stationed here. Now why? We should be pushing down to Lemoyne soon. Communication's been slow and difficult. But like General Scarlick says, a good soldier knows how to wait. You've certainly done that. Well, I can't be caught nattering to civilians. I have a post to guard.
He's in there now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> These here are city folk. They're gonna have trinkets and all. I want food, not trinkets. Can't eat trinkets. Well, food don't go make you pretty. <laughs> you ain't ever gonna be pretty. That ain't how you was acting last night. <laughs> you shut up about that. Come. <laughs> hey, look at this hat. Why, well, I look like a San Denise gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like one, but you sure don't smell like one. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I wouldn't want to smell like no city boy anyway. They smell like dinner to me. Take that stupid thing and let's go. I'll let the law deal with you, you rip for baits. Idiot. Easy. Whoa. Howdy. Ass wide. Just calm down.
Oh, easy. Hey, hey. Yep. There we go. Okay there. Who are you? Just me. Welcome back, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Oh, look who it is! Hello, Karen. Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? 
What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. In him? You ain't been nothing. Mrs. Adler. You okay? <laughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. To do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me... We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hang Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. Fine morning for a killing. Huh. Hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll... we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan, then? Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus! Who the hell is that lady? Hey! That's the lady from the hanging! Come on! Just like him! Right here! 
If we could just like him! Okay, he's dead! You ruined us! You ruined me! Bit more than you can chew, eh? It's those bastards again! You might not know it, but you're done! gonna recognize you when I'm done. Come on! Just die, won't you? Okay! You take the barn, I'll take the farmhouse. And remember, if he's fat and he's got a beard, he's mine. I'll try. Just shoot her! I don't care what she is, shoot her! We got every side of this thing covered. Who's in here? Come on! The lady outside don't want none of you coming up. This is your last fight, mister! Damn it! Barn's clear! Okay! Going into the farmhouse! Shady! He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Well, I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
Easy, easy. Easy.
Yep. to a loyal man to our people. Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail. Apparently awaiting death. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious, and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. <sighs> Well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe. Do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Nicely done. 
What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. You're okay, boy. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. Are you all right back there? It's best we stay together now. So like you were saying before... We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about Eagle Flies. And the reason for his arrest? In part, yes. I think you know something of Dutch by now. Yes, I know enough. Charles will find a way to help Eagle Flies, but I worry that won't be the end of it. Dutch seems hell-bent on making your son's fight his own, and... Well, this ain't easy to say, but... I just don't trust he's doing all this entirely out of solidarity. What else does he have to gain from it? Uh, I ain't quite sure yet. He's kind of unwound right now. I just thought you should be aware. I appreciate you coming to me, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some more thought. Yeah. Easy. Hold up a moment. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Ah. You're going the wrong way. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay, let's continue on.
You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. Oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them and shot them dead. Off of ten dollars. It hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. They taste awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So back to what you were saying. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? 
Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please! The tr Fuzz gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. Okay. Let's continue on. It's ruined. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. I see no end to any of this. Bastards are having a party up here. I found something. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinooka. <laughs> okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Look there! Smoke! Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Mr. Morgan, there's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Favors was trying to get him transferred. I don't like him much. He always seemed like a decent fellow to me. Exactly. That's the problem. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. What's got this horse boot, huh? Huh? What's that? I think I saw someone. 
We got Tell him over here. I heard something. Take your hands off that. This is oh, where I'm gonna end you. Get ready to die. Too damn close. Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> 